Good evening and welcome to the Late Night Edition with me, Ayushman Singh Jamwal. Breaking news coming in amid the tensions between Taiwan and the Chinese regime. Now, more than 10 destroyers and escorts of the Chinese Navy carried out containment operations in waters around Taiwan. Chinese missile boats also simulated targeted assaults. So the escalation when it comes to those simmering tensions between China and Taiwan continue as those military exercises by the Chinese regime continue around Taiwan as Chinese forces encircle the island. And now what we are getting is that Chinese naval assets have also been deployed and more than 10 destroyers and escorts of the Chinese Navy carried out containment operations in waters around Taiwan. Chinese missile boats also simulated targeted assaults. That's the piece of breaking news that's coming in as those tensions between Taiwan and China continue to escalate after the historic visit of Nancy Pelosi, who said that the United States stands firmly behind Taiwan and they will support Taiwan militarily, diplomatically and also uh, diplomatically. And also when it comes to the economy of Taiwan, uh, the United States has said that full support will be given from the Biden regime. I'm joined by Abhishek on the phone line uh, who tracks the MEA. Now, Abhishek, when it comes to these containment operations near Taiwan, uh, how long do you think the Chinese regime is planning to drag this out uh, when it comes to flexing its muscles around the small island nation of Taiwan? Uh, so it looks like China has initially uh, planned for uh, this blockade to continue till 8th of August. Uh, but uh, probably uh, this may stretch further uh, as we see the globally global reactions are pouring in uh, about this whole uh, Chinese military strength showcasing uh, its uh, outrage towards Taiwan uh, and all the live fire drills that we have uh, reported in the last few uh, hours. So this is something that has actually uh, concerned the global uh, leaders. Uh, meanwhile, the blockade has actually uh, got a lot of uh, implication for the further uh, you know, disruption of already strained global supply chain. Uh, and this is uh, where uh, the economic implication of this whole crisis is also coming into the play. Uh, meanwhile, we, are, uh, we have got the report that uh, a major U.S. Uh, company, Apple, has announced that all the products coming from Taiwan uh, will also have uh, the label Taiwan, China. Uh, we know that Taiwan calls itself Republic of China, while uh, China, mainland China calls itself People's Republic of China. So Taiwan has always claimed that it's, uh, it has original, uh, you know, legitimacy over uh, Chinese mainland, uh, while uh, Chinese mainland has always claimed the sovereignty over the Taiwanese uh, island. So this, this whole uh, uh, historical, uh, you know, debate and confrontation is uh, for decades, uh, for, for like al almost seven decades. Uh, but now it looks like uh, Taiwan is getting much more support than it, it was getting earlier. Uh, even uh, uh, after the visit of U.S. Uh, House of Speaker, uh, U.S. House of Representatives Speaker Nancy Pelosi, uh, Taiwanese government is much more emboldened than it was earlier. Uh, we have also seen reports and the statements coming in, uh, coming out uh, from the group of seven countries uh, in favor of Taiwanese government. Uh, so it looks like Taiwan, at least for now, is getting a lot of uh, global diplomatic attention and support uh, than uh, in, in the face of Chinese. Uh, show of military strength in and around Taiwanese uh, island. Right. And Abhishek, at the same time, as you were pointing out and we are putting the information uh, on our screen as well, that Apple has told its suppliers to follow the Chinese rules when it comes to the, uh, the supply lines of the tech giant. Do you think more companies are likely to fall in line given the manufacturing might of the Chinese regime? Uh, see, uh, if we can take a leaf from the uh, you know, recent uh, happening that has happened in uh, Russia-Ukraine uh, war scenario, a uh, lot of companies, they finally withdrew from Russia, uh, especially uh, companies who, who were from Europe and USA. Uh, so uh, that was very a harsh decision, and that was a very, uh, you know, decision that was taken in the, in the light of the escalatory and the aggressive posturing by Russia to the Ukraine. Uh, now, if it continues, the Chinese military strength and Chinese uh, the army continues to violate Taiwanese island and their, uh, you know, their defense system, uh, probably more companies, uh, more uh, European or Western or uh, companies from USA can join this block or join uh, such, uh, uh, you know, initiatives uh, where they will have more, you know, tagging of, the, you know, Taiwan as uh, of China and, you know, supporting Taiwanese cause and supporting Taiwan's economy. Uh, but we'll have to see how much uh, longer China can continue with its aggressive posturing and uh, how much of diplomacy 
uh, how much of you know of security threats China will pose in the days to come uh, after uh, all this uh, has started happening in the last one week. 